Oh, what's up, guys? We got a little gap in the rain, so we're going to take this thing out for a little bit and maybe get the oil hot and get it dropped tonight. I don't know. We are officially two weeks from my vacation. So, one thing I do have to get is a drain pan for this stupid thing because, unfortunately, I don't know where my small one disappeared to. So, I don't think we're going to be quite able to make Michigan City before they close tonight. So, I think we're going to end up at the auto zone. But first, we're going to run to Harbor Freight because as I try to get my roll cart set up the way I want it, uh, pick up some magnetic hangers and stuff so I can put my wrenches on the lid. But we'll go ahead and get the oil nice and hot and probably go ahead and drop it and uh, probably just go and do the engine in the primary. Probably not going to do the transmission because they did that uh, when they changed the handlebars because they did the complete, uh, they com changed the handle, the clutch cable completely. They didn't just do the upper half, so. So, two weeks away from my vacation, I'm still not 100% sure which way I'm going. I know uh, Iron Butt Day is hopefully in the cards, but I don't know. We shall see. Um, I was hoping to possibly go see my uncle, but he says he his uh, left shoulder is screwed up, so he can't he can't ride right now. It's just like, eh. It would have been pushing it to get out to see him anyway because he's down in central Arizona. Because I've only got a week that I could be gone for and you know, I'm by Chicago, so you know, to get to him is like seventeen hundred and fifty miles and Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I we'll see. I mean there's I got so many possibilities. I could go up north, I could go down. I think the weather is going to have so much to do with it. Because it kind of rained off and on all day. And, and it's funny, about four and a half hours ago, uh, Valpo, Harley Valpo canceled their Friday night festivities. And it really hasn't rained since. So. Good job, Valpo. You uh, you made the rain go bye-bye for the next four to six hours. But yeah, we're gonna probably end up at AutoZone. If I see they're still there, maybe I'll stop by City really quick, City Harley. But um. night is going on in Westville tonight. Normally every Friday at the park up here they'll have all the old cars lined up. By the way this video is um, being shot on Friday. What is today? I know this is the bottle let me down. What the heck's the date today? I know what the song is. I need the date. The 25th of June. So if I don't upload anything before 4th of July, happy 4th of July to everybody. Those who can, enjoy uh, enjoy uh, celebrating your country's independence by blowing up a small part of it. In Indiana, which is where I'm at, we uh, basically everything's legal. So, those of you who are like in Illinois, sorry, but we basically get anything we want. And uh, that's one of the nice things about being kind of in the middle of nowhere. We don't have to worry about neighbors. We can make all the noise we want. I don't see nobody there, so they may have canceled. 
Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Yeah, something is going on with this thing in the ABS light. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, they're going to get this thing back to do this uh, banjo bolt and whatnot, so to reroute this brake line, because I hate the way this thing is set up. I mean, the clutch cable kind of is what it is. I could probably go a little shorter, but... So, my couple options is basically to run down through the old Route 66 to... But basically just take the, the Super Slab, because... I'm not going to have time to do a ton, but but I will be standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, uh, and then detour Kingman and head north up to Vegas, and uh, spend a night in Vegas, and then basically take 70 back east through Denver. Uh, I thought that was a popo. Uh, take 70 back through Denver, then head north. Out of Denver, head of the Black Hills, get some souvenirs from Sturgis, Deadwood. Be about eh, three weeks, two weeks before that area starts getting crazy. I, I got a feeling this year Sturgis is going to be off the chain. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people kind of stayed away, so the attendance was probably about half of what it normally would have been. This year is going to be huge. It, it would definitely be one of those things I'd love to do once, uh, but it would probably be a pass-through, not, not spending any serious time there because, well, yeah, you're cool. Somebody needs a muffler! But, uh... Yeah, it would definitely be on the bucket list of things to do is to go to... Unfortunately, uh, to go to Sturgis. But, uh... I mean, Laconia, I might be able to swing at some point. Unfortunately, neither of the weeks at Denver, I can really... Or, Denver, goddamn. Daytona. I just can't do it because Biketoberfest is uh, kind of right... You know, you know, it might be... It might be doable, but it'd be pushing it because a lot depends on how high school playoffs are going for football. And of course, when Bike Week happens in the beginning of May and beginning of March, number one, I couldn't ride up from down up here. I'd have to, I'd have to trailer it to at least probably Nashville, maybe. I yeah, I wouldn't be able to plan on that. That's the problem. I'd have to plan on getting my bike trailer to at least Nashville. Although it did look like one of the dealers in Nashville was doing that, where you could basically park your truck and trailer at the, you know, somewhere around there, and then I don't know if they had a deal worked out with, uh, if they had a deal worked out with like uh, the Titans, and they were just going to use their parking lot, and then they were going to get a group ride down to Daytona from there. That would actually be a pretty good idea. But, because I don't have to worry about being ba doing basketball at that point. Baseball doesn't really start until the last week of March, so, I mean, bike week would be possible, but yet, yet again, I mean, you're going to spend, I think bike week is dead in between the festivities uh, the, the NASCAR festivities and spring break time. 
So, yeah, I would definitely love to do it, but I just don't think it's doable. good thing is I've got the oil at the house so that's not the issue I mean if it's still there I could use to pick up another quart of sin 3 but other than that we're pretty well fine on if I used a backup of mobile 1 v-twin that would be fine too or you know amps oil or whatever a few moments later Okay, well, phase one complete. Oil has been um, ah, just in time to get wet from the sprinklers. That's good. I caught him just as he was starting to close the door, and he's like, "Well, what do you need?" I said, "I just need two quarts of sin three. He's like, "Yeah, no problem." Really only need one, but I always like to have at least one spare. Alright, next start is the Haba Freight. Get some magnetic uh, rigs. Get some rigs of beers. Now that's at the house. He's trying to, the guy there was, you go to the Dragon. I said, nah, if I go anywhere, maybe be like triple nickel. Maybe hit triple nickel on the way to uh, do some of the windy nine. Uh, Joe with the one service rider they got there. Uh, I trying to beat the rain. I said, it ain't going to rain. If help will cancel the cruise night, it ain't going to rain at all until after midnight. Guarantee you. I guarantee it's not going to rain. Somebody going to the, Tex the Tejas Corral. Get themselves a ribeye. I haven't gone to one of them in a while. Man, they, they packed tonight. The steak and shake? Yeah, not so much. Eventually. Okay, so mission accomplished. Come on, Santa, wake up. There it goes. All right. I ain't gonna get too crazy here, cause. ABS light went out. Well, it's now it's out. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I'll just go this way. I don't know if Johnson's back open yet or not. We'll see. Knuckleheads. Semper Fi Pet Salon. Okay. Boom Boom Stores. Are fireworks legal in Mexico? Hell, everything's legal in Mexico. That's the American way. What about Indiana? Yep, they're legal there too. So what do you guys think? Should I go west like my original plan was or do I go south? Do I hit the triple nickel and the 
and the Dragon and maybe a couple other routes. What do you guys think? What do you want to see? So if I do do the Dragon, let me ask you, northbound, southbound, which way is better? Do I do it north? Do I do it south? Do I do it both directions? I, I would like to hit a couple of routes in North Carolina, too, if I'm over there, because um, that's another. I mean, a, a 40 going up through the, through the Smokies. I-40 basically from Newport, Tennessee, all the way to Waynesville, North Carolina, is very, very underrated with how twisty it is going up and around the mountains. Only thing you got to be careful is you've got a lot of semis using that route because that's also the way to get from, you know, from Knoxville down to uh, Greenville, Spartanburg, uh, also to uh, Charlotte. Also to Columbia. Yeah, got some leaves and stuff that got knocked down. Speaking of things that got knocked down, good gosh. And berries and twigs you expect, some leaves. Well, we're basically home, so I'm going to try to get this up by Sunday the 20, 27th of June, 2000, the year of our Lord, 2021. So we're going to try to get this up by then. God willing, get up tomorrow. Um, but until next time, y'all be safe. Keep that shiny side up, that greasy side down, and we will catch you on the other side and break on through to that other side. Well, my fuel light come on. Man, yeah, it's all right.